The number of Kenyans living or working abroad is estimated at 3 million. Currently, diaspora remittances are the single largest foreign exchange source for Kenya, followed by tea, horticulture, and tourism. During the first six months of this year, Kenyans living abroad sent home 91.6 billion shillings, which is an average of 15.26 billion shillings every month. Despite the huge potential that those in the diaspora can make to the economy, there are challenges such as high cost of remitting money, lack of an integrated database on Kenyans abroad, inadequate mechanisms of protecting those in the diaspora, and weak structures to inform Kenyans in the diaspora of investment opportunities. We have a clear database of who is out there, what are they doing, what is their expertise, what can they contribute. This is not some intelligence work, no. This is not for security purpose. It's more to understand the constituency out there. How do you simplify diaspora government relationship? If I'm a diaspora in the UK or something, I have learned certain, I have come to expect certain standards of engagement. When I go to a government office, I expect certain decorum, certain efficiency, certain speed, and so on. They noted that technology is key in diaspora banking to allow seamless payments, urging local financial institutions to tailor banking and investment products for Kenyans in the diaspora. Put in place initiatives which will help us, those of us out there, to be able to put our investments in a profitable uh, place where we know that the money I sent to build my house was not eaten by my brother. That cow I'm being shown the photograph of is actually mine. They encourage the state to tap the skills and expertise of those living and working in the diaspora. Being mainstreamed through enhanced skill transfers and institutional capacity support. Most Kenyans in the diaspora have successfully completed advanced training and have positioned themselves as world-class uh, professionals. You go to the US, the UK, Australia, Kenyan doctors, scientists, uh, bankers, they're, they're everywhere. So they're world-class operators. Caroline Jenga reporting for News Hour Business.